Vlogmas day 11. Today I've got a hot chocolate roundup for you. So these are my five favourite hot chocolates. I like them all for different reasons. I haven't yet found one hot chocolate that does everything that I want it to do, but between these five I've got all the bases covered. <laughs> so the first hot chocolate is this Charbonnel and Walker. I think this is probably the most traditional of the hot chocolates. It's little tiny flakes of chocolate and you mix four heap tablespoons of it with hot water and that melts the chocolate down and then you add hot milk which gives you the hot chocolate drink. So this comes in a tin and I am a sucker for a tin. I don't think that you can get refills for the tin though, I haven't been able to find just, just the refills so you would need to buy like a new tin every time which you know, that defies the purpose of having one nice tin that you can just then fill up. So that's kind of a negative score for this one. And also the chocolate flakes, I know it's an issue that chocolate does settle in packaging, um, but the chocolate flakes don't fill the tin up. They, they only come to maybe two thirds of the way up. So when you empty the packet into the tin, that, that's a bit of a shock because when you see this big tin sitting on the shelf, you think you're getting, you know, a big, big tin of hot chocolate, but it's not really all the way filled. Um, but I have heard that that's an issue, like when it leaves the factory it is filled because they're tiny bits of chocolate flakes, they've got air all around them and then they settle in transit which is why you get less down the tin. This Haslatcher's chocolate, this is the first time I've tried it this year, it's a new one to me. I actually got this when we went down to the Eden Project but they do sell it in Marks and Spencers as well. And it's a bar and you just break pieces off and it's all very natural this one is. It's um, got no added sugar, 100% cocoa. You break the pieces of chocolate off and put them in a pan to melt and then you add the milk to it, which is quite a long process for making the hot chocolate. I feel like getting the pan out, you have to, it, it's a lot, it's an effort, you know, it's not an instant hot chocolate, but this one is definitely the thickest, richest, um, it feels like the most luxurious when you drink it. My problem with this one is it's very very bitter it's got no added sweetener to it at all and for me it's it's too much chocolate um i do like my chocolate quite sweet so i find i have to add um sugar into this one trevor really likes it just as it as it comes and i think this one is probably most like what chocolate was when it first arrived um in the uk you know it wasn't milked down and it wasn't it didn't have um, sweeteners added to it but I'm very used to kind of sweet milky hot chocolate so um, I have to add quite a bit of sugar to this one but for the consistency it's probably my favourite. Adding sugar to the Haslatcher's hot chocolate kind of defeats the purpose of having like a sugar free one but for me it, it needs it but I have got a kind of a healthier option which is this Choc Shop one and this is this it's made from fruits, so in, in the ingredients, I think I've featured this before in a favourites, I, I like this a lot, this one. It's got natural fruit extracts from apples, grapes and carob, and then it's got water, cocoa, rapeseed oil and natural chocolate flavour. So this one is sweet because it's got the, the fruits in it, but it hasn't got any added sugars to it. And this you just mix it with hot milk. You can tell that it's not like a pure chocolate one like the others but for a healthier option this one is good and this one is also really nice with a non-dairy milk like almond milk this one does dissolve really easily because it's already liquid so you just squeeze this into hot milk and it dissolves into the milk and makes it nice and chocolatey so that's like the healthiest hot chocolate that i've got for you today <laughs> The next one I've got is Peanut Hottie, and this is the first time I've tried the chocolate flavour, but I really like it. It reminds me of the Kit, Kit Kat Chunkies, the, you know, the ones with the peanut through them. I was a big fan of the original Peanut Hottie, which is just a peanut flavoured hot drink. So this was actually a PR sample that the company sent me because they knew I liked the original flavour. And I really like this one as well. It's the most instant of all of the hot chocolates that I've got today you just add hot water to it and the container is a little bit scuffed up at the edge here but I've been um, taking it to the allotment with me that's why I've been throwing it into my allotment rucksack and because you only need to add hot water to it it's a good one to have on the go and the container is plastic and it's lightweight too. 
This one is very sweet, which I like because I've got a sweet tooth, but Trevor does say that it's a bit too sickly for him. And out of all of the hot chocolates I've got, this one has got the most ingredients in, the first of them being sugar, and there's a lot of stabilizers in there as well that some of the other ones don't, don't have. So that's my cheaper option of hot chocolates and one for on the go. My final hot chocolate is this one from Wittard. I was suckered in by the shiny pink tin, but you can actually get refills for this one, which I really like. And this one is praline flavored white hot chocolate. So it's a little bit different in flavor to the others. I do like the nutty ones. Um, this one is very creamy, I think because it's, it's white hot chocolate and you just add milk to this one, but it's a powder. Because it is so sweet and creamy, I think it's less of an everyday hot chocolate. It is kind of a, a rich treat, but I really like this one for something a little bit different. White hot chocolate, I think, is quite a big thing at the moment, and the, the added praline to this one, it just tastes lovely, so I really like this one as well. I think you can probably see why I've got five hot chocolates that I like, because they've all got different qualities whether they're like versatile to take on the go or if they're more, you're more like decadent, relaxing evening with thick, creamy hot chocolate, they, they all tick different boxes. But I haven't found one yet that does everything. And I don't know if there will be one because if it's an everyday kind of hot chocolate, then it, I don't think that would also translate as being my like treat kind of hot chocolate. So I'm not sure, have you got a hot chocolate that you always go for? I'd be interested to see if there was one that, that covered all of the bases, but for now, these five should do it for me. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Bye. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh.